Well, if you are from the area, you probably know the Star Spangled Banner was written by Francis Scott Key right here in the waters off of Fort McHenry. <laughs> and this morning, morning, Marty's getting a look at the handwritten copy of that. Good morning, Marty. Hey, good morning, Cena again, Tim. Welcome back. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Hopefully, you're doing well. Katie Kaljing joins us right now, director of the president and CEO of the Maryland Center for History and Culture. Used to be called the Maryland Historical Society. It has been rebranded, and what a change here, which we'll get to in just a second. Uh, Micah Connor and Martina Cotto, uh, who basically run the library here, are joining us. This is one of how many important documents you all have? We have over 7 million documents in our, our, our archive, but we have over 350,000 objects in our museum collection. And they're all important, not only to Baltimore, but to Maryland itself. We are in an old school library. This goes back to the original building. That is as stunning as what you would find at the Peabody Conservatory of Music. Historians, educators come here to learn about Maryland and other subjects. Yeah, and to do research themselves. We are, we're a place where people can come and do history, not just receive history. We want you to be part of the process of discovery. And this has been rebranded. It, it used to be just an old, you know, downtown building. But what has happened here, this is now a destination. There is so much cool in here, it will be worth not just a school trip, but give, coming on a Saturday afternoon. Absolutely. And so we have, um, we have a gallery as well with multiple um, exhibitions on display. Currently, there's an exhibition on Baltimore um, theaters. Uh, we have a, an exhibition on the civil rights uh, on the first floor. We have something on the American Revolution. So we have topics ranging from all different subjects, and we're always changing. So there's, there's always something new to discover What here. a great job you all have yeah. done. What a great job. But there it is. We, we've already been talking last half hour. Does it blow your mind we're just standing? I think, I don't think I'm overselling this, Declaration of Independence, Bill of Rights, National Anthem. What's important to this country? Somebody in Idaho today is going to be singing that song. Somebody in Hawaii mm -hmm. is going to be singing that song. Well, what I love about it is that you can actually see the folds in the paper. You could see his... His, the way he changed his mind as he was writing it, it is a personal document. It is, it is not a typewritten document. It is something that, that lived, and it has its own story. Well said, and his penmanship is tremendous. Look at that. Oh, oh speaking of which, mm -hmm. honesty in broadcasting. You're at a football game, you're at a baseball game. Have you ever gone, oh! Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And there's the reason right there. Well, and we say it with such conviction in Baltimore, too. Interestingly, the first stanza ends with a question mark, but we put an exclamation mark. There you go. Thank you so much for hosting us. Thank you it's so much. It's been a pleasure to be here. All right, everybody, y'all have a great, safe weekend. K2 and I will be seeing you Monday. Back to you.